Welcome back, everyone. Ah, Thomas. Agent Morgan, it's past 2100. Let's meet up again at the community center tomorrow. I haven't been sleeping much since this all started, to be honest. I'm exhausted. I was just about to suggest the same thing. I'll make arrangements for people to gather between 1500 and 1700. I'll try and get as many people as I can to come, so don't be late. Okay? Don't be late. I'll be there. The community center's on the south side. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Thomas. Well then, see you tomorrow. Hello? So, what exactly do you want to talk to everyone about? This case goes deeper than you think. The town folk may have heard about the murder, but they don't understand it. It's a very dangerous situation, and I need to warn them properly. I hope most of them are decent enough to come. No problem there. 
Emily has made all the arrangements. I've told everyone to gather around between 1500 and 1700. Great. Reminds me of a film I saw recently. The town is under attack by aliens. And so the mayor calls all citizens to the town hall to warn them. However, seeing this, the aliens attack the hall and wipe them all out together. Is that relevant, Agent York? The way they kill is fantastic. They used a combination of balloons and meat sauce for exploding heads. Those aliens start firing their death rays and heads start popping. It's flat. Really quite something. Agent York, some of us are trying to eat here. I know, Emily. I'm one of them. Well, anyway, your cooking is the best, Thomas. Thank you. No, nope, no problem. Asha, something on your mind? Oh, Agent. Just the person I wanted to see. I take it this isn't a chess problem. Is it something a little more serious? Oh yeah, it's serious. I just can't figure it out. Now you've snagged my interest. Tell me more then. Mm, it's a question... Well, it's more like a riddle that Fiona gave me. Now, you might want to write this down. It's a little long. A.G. Silver. N.A. Sodium. G-E, germanium, E-R, erbium, L-I, lithium, 
KR, Krypton, IR, Iridium, SB, Antimony, SE, Selenium, EU, Europium, and SR, Strontium. The elements love you, Doctor. What are these? Elements from the periodic table? Oh, that's right. I just, I thought it was some chemistry problem, but that doesn't seem to be it at all. Please, if, if you can figure it out, you let me know, okay? Okay, Usha. I'll give it a shot. You let me know as soon as you figure it out. It's a question, well, it's more like a riddle that Fiona gave me. Now, you might want to write this down. It's a little long. A.G. Okay, now, read the first letters vertically down. Angel kisses? You still don't understand? Uh, of course. Angel kisses is freckles. The answer's Fiona. In other words... Fiona is in love with you. Oh, I, I, uh, I see. It's a very cute love letter. Those who have the courage to love have the courage to face rejection. And she is a brave one. Don't you think that's wonderful? Uh, you know, just between you and me, she's been sending me signals like this for over a year. Then why don't you respond? Is there something else you're interested in? No, no, there's no one else. It I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't dislike Fiona, I just... I don't know what to do. Usha, don't tell me you've... Yeah, that's right, I've never had a girlfriend before. Please, now, don't tell a soul, promise. I won't do your autopsy if you tell. Usha, that's a fresh new way of saying something horrible. Anyway, thank you for figuring this one out for me. Now, I'll handle the rest. Let me give you this to thank you. Thanks, Sasha. This will help me keep it zipped, all right? Agent? Nah, don't. Just kidding, Usha. Your secret dies with me. Hopefully in many years' time. Hey there.
Hi there.
It's still not right. You've certainly gone to town this time, haven't you? There's something I really want to cook, but I can't remember what it is. You can't remember? It's something you want to cook, right? Well, that's the thing. It's something my father made for me once a long, long time ago. My mother was sick, so he had to cook. That was the only time he cooked. I remember how it tasted, and I, I wanted to make the same dish, but no luck. I also remember what it looked like, but I have no idea what was in it. And you still decided that you'd give it a try anyways. Amazing. Most people would give up without even trying, Emily. Do you have a problem with this? Okay, so I was nostalgic and emotional, but I wanted to give it a try. I'm sorry. I need to watch my mouth. Who am I to comment on your private issues? I'll make up for it by helping you look for the right ingredients. You will? Yes, of course. This will make a nice break from the investigation for me. Now then, what kind of dish was it? Various different ingredients placed on top of an English muffin. With some kind of sauce on top. A yellow sauce. He learned it from a diner close to where he worked in New York. So a New York-style yellow sauce. Do you remember anything else? Well, there were two things on the muffins. Something chewy and salty, and something soft with, with two colors. Okay then, Emily, I think I know what you're talking about. I'll go and look for the ingredients. You try to remember some more. Sounds like a plan. Well then, let's try to recreate this taste from her past. What do you say, Zach? Emily, here's one. This is definitely right. We're getting closer to how it tasted. Great. A yellow sauce and something chewy and salty. <sighs> Emily, here's another one. This is great. Now this is getting close. One more step and we'll be there. Only one more ingredient. Something salty and chewy. He cut it with a knife before cooking it, so it must be meat or a fish. <sighs> Emily, here's another one. This is it! That's exactly what it tasted like! Eggs Benedict. Huh. The name of this dish. It's a popular breakfast dish in Louisiana. Your father was quite a chef then. What do you mean? This is much harder to make than it looks, Emily. You have to bring it to the table with all the ingredients at the same temperature. And that requires preparation, timing, and skill. You'd have to be pretty good at these three things to make a really good Eggs Benedict. Really? I never thought of him as a skilled cook. I haven't talked to him for ages. We've been kind of separated. I wonder what he's doing now. Do you have his number? I think so. Probably stuck in the old picture album. Emily, just interrupt me if I'm out of line here, but I'd like to tell you how I like to think about these things. People develop their own personality through interaction with other people. Whether they like it or not, that's how it happens. I don't know anything about the past between you and your father, but the fact is you enjoyed making something that he cooked for you. He's a big part of your past which means he's part of you. That's normal, and you have nothing to be ashamed of. So why don't you give him a call? 
but I wouldn't know what to say. We can talk about this recipe. That'll be a good place to start. Thank you, York. I'll, I'll give him a call after you leave. I, I don't want you standing over my shoulder for this. Okay, good. Here, take this. A gift for helping me with my cooking today. And for everything else. Is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at the... Just think of talking in front of all those people. What do you think, Zack? It's going to get fun.
Zack, did you see that? Now that fish was huge. You only see something like that in the countryside. I bet I'll need a better rod to reel that monster in. We need to find someone who knows more about fishing here. Can I ask you something? I have nothing to say if it's about murders, victims, and killers. No, it's about something else. About fishing. Fishing? I saw a behemoth-sized fish in the river. A real whopper. Did you catch it? Oh, no. It was far too strong for my line. It ripped the lure right off. Yeah, just as I thought. No human would be able to catch her, at least not that easily. You know the fish I'm talking about? Her name is Tabitha. She's been protecting the peace of the river for many years now. Tabitha. She's a special one. Probably some kind of king salmon. A variant or a mix of something. She's been seen in these parts for over a decade now. A normal king salmon would only live about seven years, of course. There's no real explanation for it. I think there's a special reason for her existence. You know, like nature trying to warn us about something. You said that she's kind of like the keeper of the river. Catching the keeper is every fisherman's dream. You gonna try and catch her? If I get the chance. Just hold on a minute, then. I'll lend you this. It's the rod I used when I was younger. Real sturdy piece of work. Are you sure? Yeah. If you fight Tabitha with a weak rod, you might end up just getting hurt. If you do manage to haul her out, though, I want to see her, you know. Could you bring her to me? Of course.
Hello? Bro! Hey man, the spot on the map is called Cope's Tunnel. It's one of a couple of places in town where like, spooky stuff happens. I'll tell you a story, okay man? But uh, don't go spreading it around. The spirits, they don't like publicity. Back when this place was a lumber kingdom, you know, the rockin' 80s, that tunnel was the main connection from the lumber yard to this town. Every day, huge trailers would like come in and out. Lots of traffic, dude. Of course, some people were like all up in arms. Save our nature, stop pollution, you know. Big business was pushing in here from all over the US of A. Everyone was bickering over the forest. So some of the town people got even more worked up, you know? They started a protest inside the tunnel itself. I guess maybe that was the start of all the... bad times. Bad times? Oh yeah, man. Rough stuff and heavy times, man. The conservationists and the lumber workers faced off with each other. Neither side was backing down, and that made things worse. Amid all this chaos, there was a man and a woman who got engaged. Problem was that the man was a lumberjack, and the woman, she was a tree hugger. They rarely ever fought, but then, one morning, they had a lover's quarrel. People think that her love of nature clashed with his profession, but we'll never know what they really were fighting about that morning. The man shouted, he called her an idiot, and then he stormed out and went to work. If only he had known, that would be the last word he would ever say to her. When he finished his work for the day, he got in his car and drove home. When he got to the tunnel, he saw lantern lights glowing faintly. Those fools, not again. He just thought they were protesting in the tunnel again. And to scare them a little, he decided to speed up. He probably thought they'd all scatter so he wouldn't hit them. But the lights didn't move. In fact, one came toward him. A second later, there was a thud, and the lantern flew up into the air. Slammed on his brakes, too late, of course. Then, totally freaked, climbed out to see what had happened. I don't need to tell you who he hit, do I? What's more, in her mangled hand, there was a letter to the head of the lumber mill. A peaceful settlement offer. The woman had no other relatives other than the man. And the lumber mill took no responsibility for the accident. It was going out of business anyways. What happened to the man then? No one saw him again. Some say he killed himself, 
or simply just vanished. You know, he might still be in the tunnel, weeping over his lost love. So now, some folks say there's a ghost of a young man that haunts the tunnel. I told you it was called Cope's Tunnel, right? Well, check this out. Some people call it Corpse Tunnel now. You better be careful, Mr. FBI, if you go down there by yourself. <laughs>
These scars. You've been protecting this river for a long time, haven't you? I knew this day would come. What do you plan to do with her? I think she'd be lovely smoked. Yep. Smoking your own catch sounds like the makings of a very tasty appetizer. But even the pair of us could never eat this much smoked salmon, right? You might regret that later. You're not gonna see a fish that big again anytime soon. Oh, I have no regrets. I capture criminals, not fish. <laughs> I bet she was glad, you know. Glad that you're the one who caught her. <laughs> Just keep the rod. Think of it as your trophy for catching Tabitha. 